All right, the fridge completely broken. We are doing a huge, uh, hold on. Can you say hi? Oh, okay. Okay, put the flashlight down. Don't flash it in their eyes, thank you. All right, we are doing a huge um, freezer meal prep because the fridge is broken. I'm going to talk you through everything. We have a bunch of food in there that just can't be going to waste. The freezer is not broken. So we're gonna do an egg bake, um, anything I possibly can. Yeah, you like eggs. Anything I possibly can to save the food in the fridge. So I'll give you a quick glimpse. I'm gonna take everything out and um, just do what I can to save the food. So wish us luck, let's get going. All right, here is everything. I got everything out that I could. Cheese, easy to freeze. I might use some in some recipes, but honestly, I'll just shred the blocks, put those in freezer bags, and then um, these bags back here are not open, so I'll just put that in the freezer. That's easy. I have some chicken in here. Again, they're already made, so I'm just gonna stick that in the freezer. Essentially, what we're doing is trying to use up these eggs here, so I'm gonna do an egg bake. Um, I'm probably going to do some, tor some sort of lasagna because I have a bunch of zucchini over here um, and then I have some cottage cheese so I was thinking of doing that. I don't know. I have some of this cream cheese. I might just bring in um, some chickpeas and do like a buffalo chickpea dip and um, put them in tiny bags so I can get them out for pizzas and just to dip in chips. All you got to do is heat it up. It's super easy. I have some sauerkraut here. Honestly, I'm just going to eat that today. That's not a big deal. I have a turkey. Um, here, I don't know. Here's the truth. I've never cooked a turkey before, so I'm going to call my dad, see how um, to do this in the crock pot or something, but um, turkey we could just use and freeze, so I'm going to cook that up. I have a ton of vegetables here that really need to get used up. Unfortunately, that thing of hummus has mold on it, so that's a bummer. That's okay, though. Figure it out. Um the better than bouillon, I'm just going to freeze. That's really easy to take care of. I have some tomatoes here. I slice them and put them on margarita pizza. I put um, wax paper in between it. I got a question last time um, how I did that. But um, yeah, I just put wax paper on it. Or you can just assemble the pizzas and then freeze them like that, if that makes sense. Over here, I have just a bunch of stuff, honestly. I have kale, carrots, cabbage. Um, so that cabbage, I'll do some sauerkraut with I'll show you how I do that and then I have some cheese back there I have some salsa sauces things like that so there is a lot to work with um, it might take a little bit and things might get random so these recipes you'll just have to pay attention to what I put in it um, I'm not gonna drop any measurements or anything because honestly I'm a little stressed out all right I don't know where that cut me off I'm using the kinder seasoning putting it on the turkey um, I was talking about butter did I I don't know you can freeze butter, but I want to use it on the turkey. Uh, um, so I'm going to put a lot of seasoning on this and then put a little bit of water and cook it. Um, I'm going to cook it on high, to be honest with you, for four hours and then might need a little bit more time. But I just want to get that going. Um, I'm just going to cook it like that and save the veggies for other things. I was going to do celery and all that, but it'll be fine. Going to get that going and then I'm going to cut up some vegetables and then do the lasagna. All right, I'm gonna start cutting. I just texted my mom, I feel, for some comedic relief. Um, I feel like Joey Tribbiani from Friends. I grew up watching Friends. Um, <laughs> when he eats, he has to eat all of his food. So, um, or Dwight from The Office when he eats all of his food from his like survival pantry. I thought it was funny. Um, a lot of people asked how they could help. They feel bad, we don't have a refrigerator. Um, you can watch the ads in my video. I, I always say that if you, honestly, I don't watch every ad in people's channels. Like if there's a 15 minute ad, I get it. Don't watch that. But I ask myself, do I have an extra 20 seconds to watch an ad? Because honestly, the, it adds up for YouTube creators. Like I said, we are small, so not a lot of people that send us products want to pay us. Um, and a lot of the products, you know, I don't really 
like sponsoring, but you know what is a strange moment if you believe in this kind of thing. Um, the fridge broke, I don't know, last week. I've been talking about it um, for about a week now. So the fridge broke, and the next day I get an email from a company wanting to send an ice maker. So, um, no, we don't need an ice maker, but I saw on their website that they had refrigerators, and I said, um, you know, thank you so much for thinking of me. Is there a way that we could get the refrigerator, a small refrigerator, there's many ones, um, instead, and the company said yes. So I am doing um, some sponsored content here coming up um, that I normally, she wants cheese, here you go girl, that I normally don't do, but I would, you know, I mean, it will be nice to have a backup like that. So I'm excited. Um, for that sponsorship coming up. It should be coming here very soon, but yay. Um, I don't say it enough, but if you even if you like the videos, that really helps me as well. Subscriptions are great, but I don't know if you've noticed. Um, it's the views that count, if you know like the YouTube algorithm, if you're a creator too, it's, it's your views. So if you look at a channel and they have whatever, like a million subscribers, and then you look at their view count and it's like, 7,000 views. I don't know if that's even possible, but I mean, that's what you really need to look at if you're looking at like YouTube success, which I've never treated my YouTube as a business, um, which is probably why I don't grow, but it's just, um, it's a keepsake for me and it's a way to, oh, she's a cheese fiend. Here you go, girl. <laughs> and it's a way to connect with people. So that is why I am on YouTube, but this will probably be a long-winded video just because, I don't know, I want to talk. I want to talk to you all, so I'm going to cut this. The chopper is buried. I have no idea where it is, so we're going to get these peppers going. Um, I think I'm going to do a stuffed pepper soup, a lasagna, pizzas. You're making pizza? Yeah. Oh, can you say hi? Hi. And we're going to do some <coughs> some turkey. Oh, <coughs> can you cover your mouth, please? <coughs> Allergies in the Patton household are What's outrageous for spring. It's cheap. Please. So we're going to get this going. Might be a little jumbled, <coughs> but what's new? Can you cover your mouth, please? <coughs> yeah, I always tell the kids, like, Dracula. Like Dracula. You do this. <coughs> Good job. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> The first thing that we're making is a marinara sauce. I totally forgot that I had all of these tomatoes in there. So I chopped up all my vegetables, realized how many items I actually had, and then I stumbled upon my pasta salad. This was made a few days ago, and instead of using the zucchini as the base of the lasagna, I'm actually going to do a pasta bake. So for the marinara, I do have the tomatoes in there. I actually ended up adding cherry tomatoes to this as well. I have bell pepper, carrot, onion, and then I added a can of diced tomatoes, petite diced tomatoes. I did some Italian seasoning and some garlic, a little bit of olive oil, and then a splash of water. I put this on low to simmer for about an hour covered and in the meantime i was making my chickpea and um, chicken dip here so this could be used like i said to dip things in or you could use it as a buffalo mac and cheese you could put this on pizza it really depends so i have mine and my husband's here i'm adding cheese obviously to my husband's um, and then i have chickpeas in mine i also have some lunch meat in here some chicken buffalo chicken lunch meat my husband gets that from time to time um, quick and easy sandwiches for a law enforcement officer um, but i have everything 
in his bin here. I did um, chop things up pretty finely. I'm going to add the vegan cream cheese to both of ours. You really can't taste the difference, honestly. If you haven't tried the Simple Truth, try it out. It's super good when it's mixed with things. And then I'm also going to add some hot sauce and bell pepper and put these in freezer bags. In the corner of my best friend's sofa, you were getting by some rum and cola. Wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you. Not a smooth talker under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. So last week when I did get the monthly grocery haul, I did get this huge bag of kale. Obviously, I didn't know the refrigerator was going to go, so I'm trying to add kale to just about everything. My husband is not a huge fan. Um, so yeah, I did want to say that the monthly grocery haul kind of got a little wacky with um, this wrench in the road, but we are adapting. Trying to get your attention, you make me in the corner of my best friend's sofa you were getting by some rum and cola wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you not a smooth talker under pressure sweaty palms ain't making it much better something about you feels so special Moving on to the pasta bake, I have my pasta salad in there and then I am adding the cottage cheese. I'd say about three fourths of that um, package. And then I'm adding four eggs, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix that together and then I'm going to top it with my marinara sauce, which I am using an immersion blender with. So now I'm assembling. This is going to make two dinner size portions for um, the four of us, but I'm not going to be eating this just because there's dairy in it. But I did want to say that I'm using the zucchini as like a base layer and then putting the pasta on top of that. I sprinkled it with some mozzarella, um, just what we had here. I'm going to cover it and put it in the freezer. And then I am going to be moving on to the egg bake. So I just have bell pepper in there and a whole lot of butter. Now that I'm looking at that, that's probably too much. Don't use that much butter. Um, it is the Country Crock plant-based vegan butter with olive oil. I have a splash of oat milk in here. And I'm just whisking this up and making scrambled eggs. I had some leftover pepper jack cheese. These burritos are actually going to be for my husband. They're easy for him to grab and go. He usually takes two and puts them in the microwave um, before work or at work, depending on what he's doing. So everything's all scrambled here. And then I'm going to add some green chili sauce that needed to be used up. And I actually really needed the jar so I could freeze the rest of the marinara sauce we didn't use. Moving 
moving on to a non-freezer meal, but another option um, in case veggies are going bad, um, specifically for cabbage. I'm making sauerkraut. It's been a while since I've done some ferments for personal reasons, but um, I'm adding probably three tablespoons to one head of cabbage um, of Himalayan pink salt, which may seem like a lot, but it allows this um, sauerkraut to form a brine with salt and the cabbage. So I let that sit for around... Uh, I'd say four hours, five hours covered. And in the meantime, I poured that marinara sauce into the jar, sealed it, and put it into the freezer. And then I am going to assemble my burritos. I just put a heaping portion in here. I wrap the burritos. I know you can't really see that that well. I apologize, but just your typical burrito wrap. And then I'm using the tortilla bag as a first bag, and then I'm going to throw it in a freezer bag. This footage must have been lost, but I added carrots, Brussels sprouts, kale, a little bit of oat milk, and some vegan cheese, and made like a casserole of sorts. And then here is the turkey right now. So the turkey's not done. My husband is going to eat most of it when he comes home, and I'm going to freeze the rest. Uh, the casserole I split into two different freezer bags and put that in the freezer as well. Now, I am taking a uh, mason jar here and filling up the mason jar. I saved a leaf of that cabbage. I did forget to mention that when you're chopping it, you need to save um, the leaf there um, so you can put this on top. You could use three leaves if you wanted, four or five, but I always use one. Uh, I know I'm going to get comments about this if you do your own sauerkraut. It is okay um, for me personally to leave that space in the jar. Um, I only filled it about halfway and then I put the brine on top, put the cabbage leaf, and then you need something heavy. So I just take rocks here, put it in a plastic bag and put it on top. I learned that from Lisa from the blog Farmhouse on Boone. And then you just loosely put this here. I wait about a week. Some people wait four weeks, some people wait three days, but um, that's the amount of sourness that I like, about a week or so. Um, definitely check it, make sure there's no mold or anything on it, but that's how I make my sauerkraut. Now, moving on, here's my freezer tour. It's not clean or organized, um, but this is what we have. This is what we work with. I always try and keep it real on here, but there's that lasagna. And then on top, I had the burritos, and I do have some curried couscous that I did. I have the sauces and the um, veggie stock here, the better than bouillon. I ended up mashing some sweet potatoes and putting that in a freezer bag as well. I have the buffalo chickpea and chicken dips. I have the cheeses, sour cream. I have tortellini in there. And then on the bottom of here, I have some pasta bake that you will see in an upcoming recipe. I have some veggies and hamburgers. And that is about it. I did want to throw in here, I grabbed this from the prepper pantry. If ever we had a power outage, this is mainly what this is for. The kids drink milk. Both of them do. So it's nice to have shelf-stable milk on hand. All I do is take one of these and put it in the freezer before the kids need it. It's generally twice a day, three times a day. Um, and I put a nice cube in it and then I am good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was informative. I, um, I had a struggle, honestly, it was kind of a little bit of a mental breakdown, but I think we did great. Thanks for being here. Stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.